Hello athletes, family, friends, and coaches. Uh, we want to welcome you to the Northeast Regional uh, Championship hosted by the World Ninja League. Uh, today we're going to be going over two different courses, uh, one being the flow course and the other being the challenge course. This video specifically is for the challenge course for our mature kids, males and females. So let's dive in. All right, at our regional championship event, right, we're going to have this challenge course. All of the athletes are going to be able to uh, utilize our challenge format. Uh, the challenge course format allows the athlete to fail and retry. If you were to fail an obstacle, uh, you do get a second chance at it to be able to complete it. If you were to fail that obstacle, then your run would be over. If you complete it, you'll move on and you'll still have one more retry uh, left for later on in the course. Uh, the athletes will then be able to go all the way through the course. Once the obstacle is reset, they'll be able to get back on and start. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. The athlete that would, um, will be the winner is going to be the one who has made it the furthest, the fastest uh, throughout that course. Now we're going to begin um, talking about our challenge course and all of the rules that go along with it. So we'll start off by uh, introducing the, what the obstacle is. We'll state whether if there's hands and feet or both. And then we want everyone to remember that anything that is not mentioned in this video is going to be assumed out of play. Anything that we do mention in this video is going to be uh, what is utilized for that obstacle. I do want to make one statement right off the bat is that our pole pads are going to be in play all parts except for grabbing on the top. No grabbing on the top, only grabbing, you can hug, whatever you need to do, hands, feet, um, but the pull pads will be in play except for on top. Also want to state that all of our platforms are non-skippable due to our close proximity rule, so um, do not skip any of the platforms. And then our additionally, our Ninja Works buzzer, when you guys get to the end and hit it, we want to make sure that you firmly press it down so that the smoke, our lights, and all of the sounds go off to signify the uh, end of your run. Um, other than that, we want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please reach out to a WNL staff and we can uh, help you with any of those questions you may have. I want to wish you the best of luck and let's get over to the course. All right, so our first obstacle is going to be this little parkour run. This red platform here is going to be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize these black balance trainers, the green trapezoid that we have current right here, and then this long balance trainer to land on this red platform here. This bar is in play um, to be able to stabilize yourself. And it is the start platform for your second obstacle, so please do not overshoot it um, as you would fail the second obstacle if you were. And we're gonna get a demonstration. And clear, well done. All right, moving on to our second obstacle. This red platform here is gonna be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize the bars, these rings, the bar, rings bar, all of them. And this red platform here, the big tall one up here is going to be your finished platform. All right, so let's get a demonstration, please. All right, and that is a clear. And we're gonna make our way on over here to our third obstacle. This is going to be the sweater bite. And the green platform here is your start platform. You'll be able to utilize this red ring, these two spider webs, and then your landing platform is going to be this green and black platform here. And this is a hands-only obstacle. And let's get a demonstration. And clear, well done. All right, moving on Ooh. to our next obstacle. It's gonna be the pipe slider. This green platform here is your start platform. You'll be able to utilize this bar, slide on down, and you're gonna land on this purple platform here for your finish. And demonstration. And it's clear, well done. All right, moving on over here. <clears throat> this red platform that I'm standing on is going to be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize this pull pad like we said. Remember, just nothing on top. You'll make your way um, down onto the tops of these obstacles here. And you're gonna finish on this red platform here. This first pole is in play to be able to help you stabilize. And demonstration.
That's all right, come on up. So that would have been a fail. But again, right, you're going to come off of that last obstacle and onto the red for a full clear. All right, <laughs> moving on to our next obstacle. Also, let's give her some grace. She's been helping us out all day. She's had multiple course runs with us. So uh, she's been doing a very, very great job. Um, but moving on to our next obstacle. This red platform here is going to be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize this trapeze bar, um, our axe, these two rings, and you're going to land on this red platform right here that I'm standing on. This is also the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot. All right, demonstration. And it's clear, well done. All right, <clears throat> moving on to our next obstacle is going to be our lily pad area. So we have this red start platform here. You'll be able to utilize the tops of this, the bars on both of these uh, rails, the top of the lily pad, um, this little um, red step, and then your finished platform is the blue. Uh, this is just the landing platform, so you are able to shoot uh, overshoot it. Demonstration. And clear, well done. All right, moving on to our cliffhanger. This uh, is going to be your start platform here. You will then be able to utilize both the blue and red cliff on the front and back of this. This ring, the T ledge, the cliff here, that black ring, and then any of the holds that are on both sides of this board. Um, your finished platform is going to be this red landing platform right here. All right, demonstration please. And it's clear, well done. Just another note about this landing platform. This is your front plane. It is a landing platform only, but your next platform is going to be over there. So please make sure that you have landed and crossed that path. A good rule of thumb we've used throughout the weekend is to be able to land on the platform and kind of just come in and touch this wall. It just um, make sure that you pass that plane and clear it before you start to make your way over to the next obstacle. All right, <clears throat> uh, next obstacle is gonna be the devil step and the start platform is this blue mat here. You'll be able to utilize the steps on the way up, this black ring, any of those T-bars on the other maker step, and you're going to then land on this black, form, black, black platform to finish the obstacle. Demonstration, please. And clear, well done. All right, moving on to our deja vu. This red platform here is going to be your start platform. This bar is gonna be in play. You'll be able to utilize it to help you get to this red landing platform right here. Demonstration. And it's clear, well done. All right, moving on to the next obstacle. This blue platform here is gonna be your start platform. You're gonna then be able to utilize these three cannonballs through here. Just remember the hardware and everything on top is out of play and just using the tops of these cannonballs. Demonstration. And clear, well done. All right, making our way over here to the uh, next obstacle. This rope is going to be placed right here for all the athletes to be able to utilize. The uh, number three box over here is going to be your start platform. You'll then be able to use that rope to this uh, first bar and, or that bar up there, either one is in play. You'll be able to then jump off and land on this green platform here to finish the obstacle. Demonstration. And it's clear, well done. All right, making our way over to the second to last obstacle. All right, so this red platform up here is going to be your start platform. You're gonna be able to utilize the two starter chucks, this cone, and this final obstacle here. Just remember, it's uh, hardware is out of play. We're just grabbing the actual obstacle. And your finished platform is going to be this blue platform right here. All right, demonstration please.
And that is a clear. All right, your next starting platform is going to be this black box and red platform. Um, this is the Angry Birds. You're gonna be able to utilize the blue sections of the Angry Birds, then uh, the donut red ring, and then any of this red over here is going to be your finished platform. We gave a nice big um, landing area for you guys to be able to use. After you have finished this obstacle, you're gonna make your way over to the buzzer where you're gonna press it firmly to make sure that you have engaged it for all of our lights, smoke, and um, sounds of our ninja works to go off to signify that you've cleared your run. We'll get a demonstration, please. And well done, that is a clear of the course. Uh, we want to thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions, please reach out to one of our WNL staff, and we look forward to seeing you all this weekend. Best of luck.